Engineering was first described to me as the problem-solving science. With engineering, you're always looking for a solution to a problem, and that's what makes it so interesting. The job of an engineer is to make life better, make better products, make better systems, uh, whether that be water treatment, energy, that's a huge area. The people that can implement those are engineers. I think there's huge opportunities for engineers to make a difference on the, the big global problems. I chose the College of Engineering uh, based on its reputation as a really good engineering school and uh, also really um, for the double degree program that it offered in engineering and computer science. Uh, what kept me here for so long is a really good environment for all sorts of really awesome research opportunities. I came here because, uh, you know, we have excellent students, uh, excellent research facilities and um, definitely a focus on innovation. I did my undergrad in the College of Engineering. Uh, right now I'm working at the Canadian Light Source as an engineer in training, and I'm doing a PhD in the physics department. We have an excellent pool of, of undergrads to pull from for, our, for graduate studies, and of course, if you're a researcher, uh, where the rubber meets the road is really with your graduate students. I've been able to, to pull in a number of, of top-notch uh, masters and PhD students from the classes I taught to undergraduates. So you combine innovation with hard work and get good results. I'm a U of S engineering graduate from 1999, and currently I'm the business unit manager for the Pipeflow Technology Center. A U of S engineers are seen as hardworking, humble, and down to earth. They're known to be very good at bootstrapping when necessary and are very sought after by employers. What's really exciting for me is, to, is when I see a student take a new problem, dissect it, analyze it, solve it, and come up with a solution that would actually work. I've had some really, really inspiring and fascinating professors while I've been here. Uh, one of them is my thesis supervisor, who's from the very beginning has both pushed me and really encouraged me. I think that combination of being able to both push people and also give them the freedom to ask questions and explore is one of the things that makes this a really good place to do research. One of the strengths of this university and this college is that the faculty make themselves available to students. And I think that's an important part of the close relationship that we have with students. We've got a fun college. People know how to have fun, but I think there's also a real like attitude towards like excellence and commitment. Um, I've worked with a lot of students that are, are very, very serious about making a difference at the college level and also in the world. Well, what I remember from being in engineering was working very hard, both in classes and at student activities. I was very involved with many aspects of the Saskatoon Engineering Student Society, the yearbook committee, business manager, and then I, I was the external vice president one year, which allowed me to travel to various conferences and represent the college. So one of the groups, student groups that I've worked with for the last few years is Engineers Without Borders and EWB is an organization that tries to harness sort of the creativity and the problem solving attitude of Canadian engineers to make a real difference on these big global problems. The U of S engineering alumni is definitely a very loyal group and you see a lot of uh, giving back to the college, a lot of philanthropy that is quite inspiring. The laboratory equipment that we have is quite sophisticated, it's up to date, it's been funded in uh, a good portion by former graduates and I'm very proud of the former graduates who supported our college and equipment. Well the laboratory classes provide an opportunity for students to solve real world problems uh, either through theoretical means or through laboratory experimentation. I work for Hitachi Canadian Industries located in Saskatoon and my role at the company is President and CEO, a role that I've held for the last five years. I'm the first Canadian to hold the role of President and CEO as my predecessors have been Japanese. One of the things that gives us an advantage here in the province is that we do have a lot of industry 
and a lot of industry close to Saskatoon where these kids can get uh, term employment, get exposed to some of the things that are going on in the field, and then apply their studies to it. I think once you couple those two things, you get very, very strong grads. The school has a high recognition factor. There's been very successful engineers come from the U of S for, for decades. Um, the school's graduates are in high demand, and they're in high demand all across Canada. I think one of the big advantages of the College of Engineering at the U of S is that, that it is a, a very diverse college in terms of the range of scientific fields that are covered and also the backgrounds of a lot of the professors and students. So you've really got this concentration of a wide range of technologies. One of the things that this university is really trying to do is um, to build multidisciplinary research. And I think we've seen that almost emerging informally and naturally also in the student groups that I've worked with. Working with the USST was an awesome example of seeing that where it was necessary to work on all these different systems from lasers and high power op optics to radio communication to electronics engineering and mechanical and structural systems. And so working on a team like that where there's these engineers from all these different fields combining ideas and stuff was a chance for me to learn a huge amount and also the only way that we could have taken on a huge project like that. I think as engineers we have a lot of authority and a lot of power and we need to be really careful in the choices that we make to ensure that, that we're not only benefiting ourselves and our, our companies but also society and the planet as a whole. I graduated from the College of Engineering, University of Saskatchewan in 1985. I'm currently the Energy Conservation Coordinator for the Saskatchewan Environmental Society. A big part of my job is that I'm a translator. I translate engineering into English. Most of the people that I work with are non-technical people, and so I work to help them understand how their behaviors and their choices and their, their purchases uh, can affect energy consumption. Well, one of the best parts of my job is I, um, I get to work with school kids, teaching them about uh, energy conservation issues and about the ways to solve a lot of the problems that we have. Well, the University of Saskatchewan College of Engineering has uh, a wonderful skill at creating synergy between tradition and innovation. I think it's a wonderful blend that both uh, attributes can be simultaneously respected and acknowledged. I'm always thinking about the next hundred years because we're really about creating the future. That's what we do. That is our job. That, that, that's actually our task and our role in society. And um, that's very exciting and it's, it's a big responsibility, but it's also a tremendously exciting and, and, and stimulating responsibility. And someday, a hundred years from now, some people will be celebrating our achievements that we did way back at the beginning of the 21st century. So that, that idea of creating the future is, is a very powerful motivation for me and I think a lot of our students are very motivated by that too. One hundred years of history. Innovation and achievement. Opportunity and excellence. A tradition of leadership. And contribution. The University of Saskatchewan College of Engineering. Building on our past and shaping our future.